Hey, our friends, we're going to do another My Little Pony Today, right, Hads? Yes. Which one are we doing this time? Princess Luna. Yes. You excited? Mm-hmm. Super excited. Mm-hmm. All right, little girl, you got your marker? Yeah. You super duper excited? Uh-huh. We hope you guys are excited, too, to follow along with us. You got something to draw with and some paper in front of you. And there's two things to remember in this art project. What's the first one? important thing is to have fun. Yeah, so most important thing is to have fun. And what's the second thing? Uh, to try your best. Yes, try your best. This might be a little tricky for young artists, but you're pretty young, aren't you? Mm -hmm. And you're still going to do it, right? Yes. We're going to do our best, and you're going to have fun? You promise? Yes. All right, you ready to do it? Uh-huh. All right, here we go, guys. All right, heads, we're going to start with our paper horizontal, and we're going to start in the middle of our paper towards the left, and we're going to do a little curved line. And this is for her eyelash, the top of her eyelashes. Okay, so we're just gonna do a little curve and it's kind of diagonal. We can start right here. You see how, see how I drew mine? It's kind of curved, but not too straight, not too curved. Yeah, good job. Now we're gonna draw the inside of her eye and it's gonna be just an oval that comes down and back around like that. Good job, that's perfect, Kate. Now we're gonna draw another oval inside. It's gonna be uh, smaller, but still kind of big. And that's, we're gonna leave that white because that's the light reflecting in her eye. Okay. Draw another little oval. Good. And we're gonna draw another oval right next to that one, but smaller. Good job. Okay, now let's color everything in except for those two smaller ovals. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna draw the rest of her eye. So we're gonna start back here and we're gonna draw a little curve that comes out of her eyelash and comes down. But look, it doesn't come too, we don't want it to be too long. We just wanna come just past her, the, her pupil. So we'll draw a line that comes down to about maybe there. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna draw a curved line that comes up and it touches her eye. See how it touches her pupil? And then it's going to come back up into her eyelash. Is that cool? Yeah. So go up. Yes. And then right into her eyelash. Good job. Okay, now let's draw our eyelashes on that. We're going to draw three on top. So one, two, and then one out the back, three. One, two, one more, three. And you can make those a little longer if you want. You want to make those a little longer? Yeah. There you go. Good job. Okay, now we're going to draw the three other eyelashes right next to those on the bottom part of her eye. So one, two, three. Good. One, two, three. You did it. Okay, now let's draw the top of her eyelid. And so it's a little rainbow line that comes up and then back down. So we start right here, draw a little rainbow line that connects back over to there. Yes. Nice. Okay, now let's draw our ear. And we, we're gonna start right above the first eyelash. We draw a little curved line that goes up. So start right there. And we can draw a little curved line that goes up. Yes. Then we're going to draw a curved line that comes all the way down and pretty much touches that, that third eyelash. So we're going to start there and we'll come all the way down to there. Good. And then we can draw that little curved line inside of their ears. They always have that, huh? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, let's draw the top of her hair. So the first part of her hair is going to be a little S line that comes out of her ear and it's going to curve down close to her eye. And then we're going to curve back around like this and then almost come back and touch her eye right there. So we're going to come, we're going to start there, curve down and then hook back in. Yes. Good job, Hads. All right. And then we can do a little curve that comes back to finish that curl in her hair. Good. Okay, now let's draw another curve on top of this one. We're gonna come out of her ear again, curve down and close to this little, to that little um, S line. Okay. So 
So we'll start, we'll start right there, and we can come all the way, curve all the way down to there. Good. Okay, now let's draw our horn. And it's coming right out of this curve. We're going to come up like that. And it's a pretty tall horn. And then come back down, a really tall, skinny V. So we'll start there, come all the way up to a point, like right there. And then back down like that. Good. And then back down. Good job. Okay, now we can put little curves that go all the way down our horn. Are you having fun? Yeah. You promise? Yes. Good. <laughs> oh, I like that horn. All right, now let's draw our crown. So we're going to come over and come out of her horn and make a little hook. Good. And we're going to draw another upside down V for you like that. That's taller. And we're going to do another little one right next to it. That's almost the size of the first one I drew. Good. You did it. Okay. Now let's draw the rest of her face. So let's finish her head. Okay. We're going to draw her little nose that comes out of the curl right here. And it's going to be a little curve that comes down. So we're going to start right here. And we're going to just do a little curve that comes out to right there. Good. And then we'll draw the front. And this is going to be the start of her nose. And then we'll draw another curve for the front of her nose. So we can draw a little curve like that. Good. And then now let's draw the bottom of her nose. And it's going to go into her jaw, too. Like that. Good. You can come all the way up right to there. Good job. Okay, now let's draw her nostril. We can draw a little U right in the corner right there. Good. And then we'll draw a little smile. There's another U. Right there, and you can draw, yep, coming right out of her nose. Perfect, you did it. We did her head. She looks pretty cute, huh? Mm -hmm. Should we finish her hair? Yes. Okay, so we'll come back up here, right next to her ear, and we're gonna curve into her, into her um, crown. So we start there, go right into her crown. Good, and then we're gonna imagine the line coming all the way through her crown, and it's gonna come out over here next to her horn, and we're gonna curve down, and then we're gonna hook right below her mouth. We'll come out of her horn right here, and we'll curve all the way down to there. Yes, I like that. That looks awesome. Now let's, let's do the back of her hair, okay? So we're gonna do another S line that comes out the back of her ear, Right here, so we're going to curve down, and we're going to curve like this, like that. And it's going to be close to the same length as this one. So we're going to start here, we'll do a big S, it comes down. Right to there. Good. Good. Okay, now let's do another S that's going to come out a little higher on the ear. It's going to come down like this, and then it's going to connect into that S line that we did, and then it's going to come down a little further, and then hook up a little more. So let's curl this. We put a little hook right here at the end. Good. Okay, now start another one that's up here. It's going to curve down and connect to that one. Yes. Good. And then you can come back over here right here, and then do another hook that ends right there. See how this one? Yes, just like that. Okay, now we're gonna come back up. We're gonna, not gonna go all the way to her ear, but we're gonna do, so we're gonna start here, and we're gonna do another S that comes out and hooks and finishes her hair right like that. So we're gonna start right here, come down, and then hook into the end. 
Good, and then right into the end. You did it. All right, okay, now let's draw her neck and then we'll finish her hair that goes into her neck. Okay, okay so we're gonna start right here, right below her eye. We're gonna start here. We're gonna do another S, comes out like that, and then comes back in, okay? So we're gonna stop, and it kind of looks like her hair, huh? So we're gonna start right there, and we'll come down and do kind of a backwards J shape right to there. Down and curve. Good job. Good job, Hads. Okay, let's finish her hair right here. So we'll do a little, a little curve right at the end. Then we'll come back up and we'll do another curve down. Good. And then we're gonna do a big curve that goes all the way into her neck. Good job. Good. And then let's do one more curve right here right here good all right had should we do her wings yeah. her, su her super awesome wings mm -hmm. all right you ready this is going to be exciting we're going to start right here in the curve of her hair and we're going to come up and we're going to stop right here next to her hair so let's start right here and then we'll stop right there Good, and then we're gonna curve, and we're gonna do another curve. So there's the curve, and then we're gonna do another curve right at the end. So do a little curve right there, and then we're gonna curve all the way up to there. It's gonna be her wing, her awesome wing. Okay, now let's do a little hook. Comes down, so we're gonna do a little feather right there. Good job, and then let's do another feather. And then we can do another feather. Squeaky markers. And then we're gonna keep doing feathers and we're gonna come all the way down right next to her, her curl right down here. So you can keep doing bumps all the way down and make all those feathers, okay? Awesome, you did it. Okay, now let's draw the little design that's in the side of her inside of her wing. We're gonna do a big S curve like that. We'll start right here, do a big S curve that comes up to there. Good. Now we're gonna curl around. A big bump. Good, and then let's do a couple more feathers on the inside. One, two, three. Good. All right, she has another wing back here too because she has two wings, right? Okay, uh -huh. we're going to draw this one and it's going to be behind the other one so it's kind of overlapping. We're going to do a big curve. It comes up like that, like this wing. So we'll start right here in her hair and come up to there. Good job. And then let's do the first feather. And then we'll do another feather. She's looking really cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Give me five. You still having fun? Yeah. You, are you doing your best? Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> All right, Kate, let's come back down and we're gonna do her front leg, okay? So we'll come right here and we're gonna do a big curved line that comes out. And I'm gonna go almost all the way down to the bottom of my paper. So we're gonna start right here. We start right here and we'll come all the way down to there. Good, okay, now we're gonna come back up and we're gonna be really close to this one. We'll just leave a little space, but then when we go down to the bottom, we're gonna get wider. See how I got farther apart? Mm -hmm. Yeah, good job. And then at the bottom, we can do a curved line to connect them. Good, now let's draw her front, her other front leg right in front of this one. So we'll do another curved line. We're gonna do it right here. Comes out in front. So you can draw it right here and comes all the way down to there. Good job. And then we're gonna do another line for the other side of her leg. So it's there, comes down. I'm gonna, good, you did it. I'm gonna redraw mine a little bit because 
got a little funny. So a little wider down at the bottom. And then we're gonna curve it back in and that'll finish her leg. I'm even gonna do it one more time. Curve, there we go. And then we're gonna color that in so it'll kind of hide it. Okay, that was to her belly. So we're gonna do a little line that pretend, we imagine it coming from her, the front of her body. And it's gonna come up like that towards the back. So we'll start right here and we'll come back to there. Good, good job. Okay, now let's draw her back legs. So we're gonna draw a curved line, goes back. Draw a start right there and then draw it to there. Good, and then we're gonna come down that her back leg. Come all the way down to the bottom. Good. Okay, now let's draw the other side of her back leg. So we'll start up here where her wing is. We're gonna do a big curve that does an S curve. It's gonna okay. come down and then hook right at the end. So we'll start right there, curve down right to there. Good, and then we're gonna do another line for the back of this leg. It comes down like that. I'm gonna do that one more time too. Need some practice on these back legs, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, and then let's do a curve line down at the bottom to connect those, okay? okay? Like that. Good job. Okay, now let's draw our other leg right next to this one. So draw a little curve right here, right to there. Good, and then we're gonna draw this line that comes down for the other leg. All the way down to the bottom. Perfect. Okay, and then we'll do, we could draw a little line right there. And then we'll scoot down just a little bit. We can start right there and then draw it there. And you could actually just connect yours in if you want. So I'm gonna draw the back line and then we'll connect it like that. So you could just connect right there at the bottom since her legs are kind of closer together, huh? <laughs> that looks awesome. It looks really good, Hats. You did such a good job. Now we're still missing a few things, right? Mm -hmm. We're missing her shoes, we're missing her cutie marks, and we're missing her tail. What should we do next? Uh, the tail. The tail? Okay, let's do it. So we're gonna draw a big curve line that's gonna S, a big S curve like that. So we'll come right here, and your wing's kind of right there, so we could come out of the wing instead and draw it. Good job. Okay, and then let's draw another line that comes out of her back. We're gonna curve and we're gonna come around and then we're gonna do a little hook right here. So we'll draw it right here. We come out maybe of her wing right there and then we can draw all the way to there. Good. And then you can put a little hook at the end. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna come back up here. This one's gonna be a little tricky, but I'll help you, okay? okay. We're gonna do an S line that comes down. And then we're gonna S like that. And I'm gonna, I'll do a couple more and I'll finish this and then I'll help you, okay? So then we're gonna do another S like that. And we're gonna do one last S, comes around and then back in. And that's her tail. So let's do a big, Let's do a little hook right here. Good, and then start right here and then connect to there. Good, and then do another hook right here at the end. Good, and then let's do one more. We'll do another line that connects to there. Good, and then let's do a hook that connects into that one. You did it, Hads. Good job. Give me five. We need lots of fives in this one, don't we? Yes. Yes, we do. All right, what should we do next? Her cutie marks or her shoes? Uh, shoes. Shoes? Okay, we're going to do a little line down on the front of her foot. Okay, and then we're going to do an upside down V. And then a hook that goes into the back. Now we're going to do those same steps on all of her feet, okay? okay. So a little line down. 
a V and then a hook in. Awesome, we got our shoes on. Now let's, should we do our cutie marks? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do the front part first. We're gonna do a little curved line on our chest. Good, and then we're gonna come back down here. We're gonna do a bigger curved line right below that one into her hair. So right here, and then we'll curve in right to there. Good job. Okay, what's on her chest? What's the symbol that she has for a cutie mark? Uh, a moon. A moon, yeah. So we'll draw a little upside down U, just a little one. And then we're gonna do a big, almost a circle that goes around and connects on both sides of the U. Good job. Okay, now let's come back here and she has some clouds on her cutie mark too. So we'll draw a couple curve. Actually, let's draw the moon first. So we'll draw a little U, another U right there. Can you fit it in? Just a little U, little teeny U. Good. And then let's draw that circle again that connects both sides. Good job. And then we're going to draw the little cloud line that goes around the moon like that. So a little cloud line that just goes around from her hair into her back. Yes, just like that. Perfect. Okay, and then she has a couple little dots, a couple little cloud dots that come down her leg, and then also one right here. So you can just put like a couple dots right here and then one right there. Good job. Okay, now let's color in her cloud and also the front part on her chest. Good job, little sweetie. Give me another five. We did it. We finished her, but we need to color her, don't we? Yeah. She'll look so much cooler with, with all of her colors. Should we pick them out? Yes. Okay, let's do it. Okay, heads, we got our colors all picked out. We're going to use a really dark purple, and this one is called Ultra Ultramarine, and then we also have a really light blue or a pale blue, and then we're going to use this cool green color, which is blue-green for her eyes, okay? Okay. Is that cool? Yeah. And we're going to fast forward the whole thing because we're not going to do any fancy shading. So then our art friends can pause the video at the end when we're all done so they can see how we color. Cool? Cool. You ready to start? Yeah. All right, let's do it right, right now. now. All right, heads, we're going to switch colors because this one, it really is too blue. So let's switch to this violet color, okay? okay. So I'll get a violet color for you. Here you go. There's a violet color. And we can go over that blue and it will cover it up, okay? That's much better, huh? That looks purple. Yes, keep going, Hats. We're finishing up her eye, huh? We're just putting a little circle of green, and you did it! We did it! Was that a lot of fun? Mm -hmm. You gotta give me one more five. That was super awesome. You did such a good job, and she was really, really tricky, wasn't she? Mm -hmm. But what did we do? We did two things. We did our best, mm -hmm. and what was the most important thing? To have fun. Yes, to have fun. And did you have a lot of fun? Mm -hmm. You promise? Yes. Super duper promise? Mm -hmm. She looks really pretty, Hats. You did a super good job, and you can be super proud of her. We hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing Princess Luna with us. And remember, if your drawings don't look exactly like ours, that's okay, right? Yes. Yes, it is. So I need one more time. Boom. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye.